Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I'm here today to share with you my annual Christmas card sets. First of all, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas because I am filming this on Christmas. Um, we went over to my parents' house and we opened up presents um, with my mom, my dad, my uh, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my nieces. And then we came home and Andy and I opened up our own presents and he got me um, some beautiful diamond earrings from my my top hole and he bought me um, I've never had a Pandora bracelet but he bought me a Pandora with a little bell charm dress so that's exciting so those are some of the things that I really wanted so um, and I also got a new computer which I was really excited about not a lot of crafty things but I did get an Ot light which I'm really excited to try and the um, Ganzai watercolors I don't know how to say the rest of it but I did get that but anyway I did want to go ahead and share with you my Christmas card sets that I made this year I did it a little differently this year normally I just copy all my cards um, because it comes down to the wire and even though I did come down to the wire again this year I literally was making these like two weeks before I had to hand them all out I wanted to kind of put my own spin on some of the cards so about half of them this year I did um, I took inspiration from another card and I changed it up and I'll show you the cards that I um, that I took inspiration from and then the other the other half I just I, I cased from people because um, I liked them and I was running out of time so um, but I do have all the names of all the people that uh, made all the cards that I did like and I did look at so um, I made 150 cards in two weeks I made 15 different cards 10 of each card and then three different card sets so each card set gets five different cards in it um, and I like to do that because I like to give people variety I don't like to give all the same card sets to everybody so um, plus it means I get to use more products and different products and um, things that I didn't hadn't used yet so um, I mean it's always fun uh, my friend Betsy did come over and help me make the last 30 cards my mom did help me make 20 of them but the rest of them I was pretty much on my own for but um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you I do one of my goals this year was to have a shaker card in every box and that I did accomplish that goal so I'm excited so I just used these tags that I had made for my craft show that didn't actually I didn't sell a bunch of them so I had leftovers so I use these as my tags on here so here's the first box okay so there's the shaker in this one okay now this one is um, a card that I took from I don't know how to pronounce her name but she's a designer I believe for Altenew her name is Anna Casa Covis I can't pronounce her name but there's her original card um, so I really liked it I loved the way it looked but I wanted to make it into a shaker card and I changed the colors because I like purple um, and I changed it into a thank you card so there is the shaker card for this box and there's the inside for that one and then this one I took um, inspiration from Erica Serwin this is her original design she used watercolor wings I used the layered lily from Altenew so it's just a birthday card I, I stamped the background because she used um, a pattern paper that I didn't have so I just made my own pattern paper and it says birthday wishes down there and it just slides off and it opens and there's the inside birthday greeting so there's that one I may have to put that on later unless I can get there we go okay. so that was Erica Serwin the next one was a, um, a design by Karen Akis daughter she's from the my favorite things design team this is her original card my friend Betsy got me the um, four ways cover plate for Christmas and I really wanted to use it on a card so I'm um, gonna really like the scribble roses and I liked what she did so I kind of took inspiration I used three different colors instead of one and then I added um, the miss you greeting in there as well this was a pain in the butt you guys my big shot wasn't working and so it wasn't cutting out the scribble roses overlays and it wasn't cutting out the background it was a pain in the butt to make but um, I've got a lot of compliments on it so there's that one and then this one was I took from Julie Wedlinger I just took her card I copied her card I cased it I loved it I thought it was so cute very simple very masculine um, nice for men so what I did basically was a um, there's the inside of that one there was the inside of the other one too of this one um, I did a girl birthday card a boy birthday card a thank you card a missing you slash thinking of you and then a sympathy card and this next one was 
um, case from Laura Basson and my friend Betsy and I did this one together and it took forever to put all the waves together so I did all the blending of the background she put the waves on and it took forever and she's like I'm never doing this card again um, so it was really nice of her to help me with, help me with that but um, so there's that one again it was from Laura Basson we took um, we cased her card because it was just so beautiful um, I thought it was like a nice saying just for any kind of like um, I'm here for you or you know, if something's going on, you know, there's hope somewhere. So, um, that was the first card set. And the next one. Okay, so here's my shaker for this one. It's actually a, a double shaker, so we've got, um, the pieces up here and the pieces down here. Now my friend Betsy helped me make this one as well because this one was a pain in the butt to make and it took forever. But this one was inspired by Betsy Waldman. Um, she had hers as a birthday card but I wanted mine to be a, um, a thinking of you card because I needed... What I did was I made one birthday shaker, one thank you shaker, and one thinking of you shaker. And so this was my last shaker that I had to make and so I turned this one to it and it was a thinking of you card. So, um, But otherwise I took... Um, and I just cased exactly what she had done with the colors and everything. Um, I really like that. There's the inside. Hello, I miss your face. That's from Mama Elephant. That's one of my favorite sayings. Okay, this next one is inspired by Lori Schimmelden. I don't know how to say her last name, but there's her original card. Um, and I've, I've been looking at this one for a long time. I've loved this one. I've been wanting to make it for a while. Um, but I didn't want to copy hers exactly. This was the very first one I made out of all these cards. And so I was on a roll where I was like, oh, I'm going to make my own cards this year. I'm going to, like, come up. I'm going to take inspiration and make my own de design. So this is the first one that I did. So I, I used the Sweet Life like she used. And I used the, um, the center stage cover plate. But then I changed up the colors and I changed up the greeting. So hers was birthday. I made mine into a thank you. Um, yeah, and then I said I changed the colors up and I moved the flowers around, so there's the thank you on this one. It's coming up, I'm going to have to fix that. And then there's the inside. And now this one was inspired by um, May, the Mayholic Crafts from... Altenew. There's her original card. I don't know how to say her last name. I don't want to butcher it either. Um, hers was a thank you card, but I had heard this saying before. Uh, when a cardinal appears in your yard, it's a visitor from heaven. And I was looking for another sympathy card to make, and I absolutely loved um, the, the simpleness and the, the clean and simple look of this card. I thought it was beautiful. Like This is one, this is one of my favorite cards. Of all the cards that I made, I think this one's one of my top favorites. But um. So I had seen this saying, and I really loved it, and I thought it would be really sweet to foil that. So you can see that that's foil. Um, and use the Winter Cardinal for that. And I actually had a friend that I did give this card to in her card set say that um, she, she lost a friend last year. And she said that this saying, they always say this about her friend who they had lost, and so this card meant a lot to her. So that made me feel really good. Um, but yeah, so there's this one. So that one was inspired by May. And then this next one was inspired by a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Her name is Christy Gray. So there's her original card. Hers was a Christmas one. I really wanted to put this um, poinsettia punch on a card because I love it. And I wanted to do it so it wasn't like too much bulk, but I wanted to do it because I loved it. So I turned her Christmas card into a birthday card. So there's that one. There's the inside. I'm not absolutely in love with this card, but I do like the design. I don't think I like the background paper, but um, I like the design of it. And then um, this last one in this box was inspired by Denise Willerton. So she used a train, but I don't have that train, and I absolutely love that train, so I'm going to have to figure out what stamp set it's from. But, um, so I used a ship instead, and I think I did some different colors in her. I don't think she, I'm not sure if she was stamping up colors or not, but, um, so there's my take on that one. I really like the way it turned out. I think it's perfect for a dude. And there's the inside. Okay, so that was set number two. And then set number three. There's cat hair on my desk. Okay, so set number three. Here's the shaker for this one. So it's a birthday shaker. Now this one is inspired by Betsy Waldman's card from November release. So um, 
I turned hers into a shaker card and I changed the colors up because I like purple and teal better than orange and blue. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of orange, but I love purple and teal. So I took her card and I made it into this. Um, and I made it a shaker. I just love shakers, you guys. They're so much fun. And yes, I did make 30 shaker cards and it was a pain in the butt. And there's the inside. So there's the birthday for that one. This next one is inspired by a card by Laura Basson. Um, I use the same colors, but I stamped mine off. Instead of stamping full strength and then stamping full strength with the other one, I stamped mine off, so hers isn't stamped off. Um, and hers says, always thinking of you. I turned mine into a sympathy card, so it says, always here for you. Um, and on the inside, there's that one. So it's very pretty, very clean and simple. This next one was inspired by this card, and I think I actually copied this card one of the years I did it, but um, this was done by May Collins, so I took inspiration from her tag tapper closure card here, <coughs> and I love stipple blossoms, I do, but I really wanted to make a card with my butterfly stamp set from Altenew, so I turned it into a butterfly card instead, um, and it's got that shimmer on it just like the other one does, so you can see there's the shimmer, there you go. So I really wanted to use my butterflies for my thank you card, so I did. And then the inside, um, I won't open it, but it says, thank you, your kindness means more than you know. And then there's a butterfly at the bottom. So I love that one. I love the way it turned out. This next one, and there are two more, but this one is inspired by a card by Pauline, and I didn't find her last name, or Pauline Godfrey, I'm sorry. Her name's right on the picture. So I saw this one, and I really liked the way that this turned out. Um, but I wanted to use, hi honey, um, pinks, and no, I'm sorry, I wanted to use red, yellow, and orange, because I hadn't really done a red, yellow, and orange card yet, um, and flowers, you find a lot of red, yellow, and orange flowers, and so, um, I really wanted to do that, so I took inspiration from hers, and I turned it into this one, so she popped up the painted flower, and I was going to do that too, but I just didn't get around to that step, and I liked it flat like this with the hello on there that's dimensionalized. So that you can see that that's dimensionalized. So, um, yeah. And then there's the inside. And then the last card I I cased Lee Penner. I love this little card. I made my mom cut out all the little pieces though because I didn't want to cut them out because my shoulders hurt a lot when I die cut. And so, um, yeah, another boy birthday card with the paper tray ink, petite places, the gas station, water city station, and then there's the inside thing. So, um, like I said, half of, about half of them I took inspiration from and made my own design, the other half I um, cased a lot of the parts of it. So, my goal for break, because I do have a whole nother week off after this, is to go back and make some of my cards that I changed up on film. Um, so that way I have some things to share with you guys because I haven't really had much to share lately because I've been so busy making 150 cards as you can tell so um, hopefully I can get those up sometime next week so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you soon bye